to put together my own memes? Hello, I'm Dr. Sumerian, and welcome to another episode of Dank Memes from Site 19, where I <laughs> react to various memes from Dank Memes from Site 19. Uh, this week, I have <laughs> quite a few of these are Andre Duxon uh, related, <laughs> so we should probably just get started. Andre Duxon after the attack. <laughs> Community raises. Actually, it was in two days. They raised 50000 in two days, not three days. And, uh, yeah, if I had an outstanding legal case against the SCP Foundation, I would be a little bit worried that they so quickly were able to fund uh, their legal case. Take me in at men or else. Andre Duxon. Illegitimate trade. <laughs> These are like political cartoons, but like as blunt as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, political cartoons uh, will sometimes like label things that they think people aren't gonna get it but it's like that because it has to be because it's a completely unrelated image <laughs> oh man the lawsuit oh wait no start from the bottom russian scp branch andre duxon the rest of the scp community andre duxon again the lawsuit oh man that is going to be an interesting thing to follow. I'm very curious how that's going to work out. That legal cases. Facts. Cabin in the Woods is the... Oh, a non-Duskin-related meme. Facts. By Dr. Kent Webb. Cabin in the Woods is the closest we'll ever get to an SCP movie. This is accurate. I have not personally ever watched The Cabin in the Woods, but I know the entire plot of it, and I can tell you with a certain level of certainty that it is very, very similar to an SCP article. And uh, the organization behind the scenes is very similar to the SCP Foundation. So yes, it is probably the closest we'll ever get to an SCP movie. Like a commercial one, anyway. I am inevitable. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think uh, Thanos was so much better of a villain than Ducks. I'm just saying. Uh, let's be fair here. You can't hear their voices. Are you saying your actions represent the collective will of the people? Andre Duxon. I can hear them. They are saying, you fucked up. Oh, man. I wonder what this is from. I mean, honestly, that looks like Zex Marquis from Gundam Wing, but I'm sure that's not it. Maybe this is just a common character trait to have that kind of a mask on. A minor cough. The pestilence. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Dumbass plague, doctor. <laughs> Dr. Sumerian seeing a meme about him. The person who made the meme when it gets into Sims video. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. The absolute best. <laughs> it does make me happy when I see these. And I, uh, I figure it probably makes people happy to see their things are being seen. Probably. The community. 12-year-old fanboy. A readable SCP. <laughs> Doesn't exist. You know, that's not necessarily true. I know there are people on the wiki right now who wrote their first articles below the age of 15. Uh, it was against the rules, super against the rules, but they still did it anyway. So it's entirely possible, if not, in if not, not in if not from evidence, incredibly likely. 42.1k worth of community, 50,000 now. Andre Duxon thinking he's taken out the wiki for good. <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing about this, is like, he just looks at it and is like, I've won. I've won. And without even considering the fact that, like, there are still consequences to his activities and actions. God, I can't imagine this art SCP book is doing very well anymore. You are wrong. Change my mind. <laughs> oh, man, I love these. I would have thought that uh, they would have put the SCP logo on those coffee mugs, but uh, other than that, pretty good, pretty good. I don't know. 
a lot. Of, someone was saying recently, like, can you imagine how many subscribers Dr. Sumerian would have if he didn't have such pretentious titles? And I'm like, probably less, since the You Are Wrong About series kind of is the first. It's funny. The You're Wrong About series is the series that made my channel, period. But it was You're Wrong About D Class was the first article or the first video I created that really took off. And then uh, while it was taking off, I think it was while it was taking off, I did the You're Wrong About 173 because I was, you know, if you see one thing doing well, you repeat it. And then I repeated it for forever. And that's just what I do now. I do You Are Wrong videos. If I say you are wrong about X and then I don't explain the thing that I say you're wrong about, that's clickbait. But if I actually take time in the article, in the video to talk about why you're wrong or why you might be wrong at the very least, then I, I don't know. I just remember hearing that and thinking that was a little bit funny. Introduction exists. SCP Foundations. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> You know, this, it's funny because this is not the uh, not the first time we had this problem. And he said last time around he was going to stop and dissolve his trademark. He's like, I understand. I did it wrong. I did wrong. Blah, 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 blah. And the whole time he was like, nah, I'm going to keep it. Anyone taking more than two candies from SCP-330. Look, Ma, no hands. Oh, man. I, I saw this one and it made me laugh out loud when I saw it the first time around. <laughs> it's like... Uh, although I guess it would have been better if the kid actually had no hands. I'm not just reacting to your memes. I'm also critiquing them. See, I don't, yeah, this was supposed to be Andre Duxon uh, killing off, you know, or, or I guess going after the younglings, <laughs> going after the SCV Foundation, the Russian Foundations in front. I, I uh, you know, I think this one, I, I, I disagree with this one because he is significantly less powerful. <laughs> it's like, sorry. It's not going to happen, man. Just not going to happen. Clintons are responsible for the murder of Epstein. <laughs> Marshall Carter and Dark? Is this a reference to something specific? This must be a reference to a specific uh, SCP article, right? Or maybe? Is it just saying that Marshall Carter and Dark are the shadowy underbelly of the entire world? Who knows? Someone will, someone will certainly tell me in the comments if this is an S about an SCP or not. Or a tail. Andre, tries to maintain control by acting cool. Foundation, peace was never an option. Ah, uh, untitled, was it, un the untitled goose game? Is so, so many memes have come out of that that I, I, I quite enjoy. I, I really should probably get that game and play it just for fun. Because it's about, it's about a goose. And I like, it's, it's, it's about a silly goose. Oh my god. Series 1 bingo. <laughs> There's a lot to go over here. Demotion to D-Class. SCP-682 is referenced for some reason, which, yeah, why does that always happen? The experiment log takes you to a separate page instead of being <laughs> collapsible. Yep. Blood. So much blood and gore, too. A tail is linked that has nothing to do with the SCP. <laughs> Vulgan read it. The SCP is just a thing that kills you. There's a whole... <laughs> There's a wacky and hilarious note from an authority figure telling other personnel not to abuse the SCP. Dr. Samiri told you you're wrong about it. A doctor passes out or flips a table over dramatically in the interview log. That one I'm not... Huh. I never thought about that one. I don't think I've seen that person... Or I, 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 if I have seen it, I haven't seen a lot. Huh. I never thought of that one as like a trope. But anyway, the SCP is indestructible for no reason. Yeah, that's very, very common. I think that a lot of that is the uh, the SCPs are indestructible in the early series because it's just easier. Like, people want to get it, get that part out of the way. It's like, oh, you can't destroy it. Okay, why? It's like, well, because otherwise the SCP would, uh, the Foundation would just destroy it, right? And I'm like, no, they keep things in containment. Oh, yeah, but not the old Foundation. The old Foundation destroyed as much as it did keep in containment. It's only more in the middle of the timeline that they actually finally started doing their jobs as they're doing their jobs. <laughs> doing their jobs? That's crazy! Oh my god, the Foundation is so evil, you guys. They <laughs> bullied the SCP. A free spot in the middle, of course. The SCP is a thing that makes you crazy. Yes, I love those. Yeah, just, just take, you know, get rid of any character development or anything like that. It's just crazy. Keter duty. <laughs> like that makes any sense at all. You're on keter duty. Okay, there's a lot of really easy to do. I mean, like, there's a lot of Keters that are 
not really all that dangerous and wouldn't really all be that much of a problem to guard. So cool, I guess. It's just as there's plenty of safe and <laughs> Euclid SCPs I'd be more worried about being um on a containment for. The SCP is an anomalous disease with five or more stages. <laughs> ah, yes, and that, that actually shows up in modern stuff. Everybody wants to have things in stages, like stage one of the infection is this, stage two of the infection is this, and it's like, oh, by the end of it, you're like, oh. <laughs> SCP-682 is coming. I mean, uh, it, it, I know every time I see it, it bores the shit out of me. Redacted. Perfect. Euclid. No, wait. Keter. Or the other way around. Or safe. No, wait. Euclid. No, wait. Keter. <laughs> no, we still get those. We still get them. Stupid cross-throughs. SCP-076-2 is referenced for some reason. <laughs> Data expunged. The community obsessed with it and can't stop making memes about it. <laughs> that's that's a that's a serious problem. Yes, Foundation tries to destroy the SCP because <laughs> stand, we just talked about this. Stands for destroy, destroy, destroy. Yeah, series one was a serious problem. Had that as a serious problem, that's for sure. The SCP is in an unlimited supply for absolutely no reason. It doesn't affect it. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. A bunch of D class died. Death row inmates who are willing to follow orders are in. <laughs> I promise. Yep, yep. That's a big thing. It's like that's that that's row inmates who are willing to follow orders, have no serious mental issues that preclude them from serving the foundation. Uh yeah, there's plenty of those. No problem. There's a pointless interview with the SCP that doesn't expand on their personality or story at all. Usually those are just set up to try and make them seem more threatening. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified immediately when I go and upload a new video. And after that, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level, like everybody here on the screen already has. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Tuesday. Oh, and you, Carl. Hit the subscribe button already. Like, I asked you to already and you didn't do it. I know you don't, I know you, I know that's just how you are, Carl. It's not acceptable though. So do it and then go on over to Patreon and pledge. Jesus Christ.